allies than ever. Well, you actually got to push buttons to get a penalty. You actually got to work at it. Yeah, it's from over-socializing. Like, the CEOs of Facebook get jealous if you get too popular. No, I don't know how it works. Oh, no, it's it's mind games. The, the community guidelines are... they. You must not get into the mind games and get trapped into... Like, I kept saying, people you may know, and then you see all these faces of nice friends that you never met before and then it says add friends so I just started clicking it like habitually yeah. on my on my personal profile it worked fine I just made like 15 or 15 or 17 new friends but then I stopped cause like it was kind of like gambling almost if you get, take it too yeah. far you'll get your account penalized it's like playing a game it's like the friend request. It's a Facebook friend request game according to community guidelines. And then it says, Do you really know this person? And you're like, Yes, I do. I met I met him a long time ago. Yeah. You're like yeah, I have 30 friends and it's going to stay that way until the end of time. I'm happy with 200. I've been 200 strong and I'm not going any further. <laughs> Here's my imitation of your behavior pattern. I'm 200 friends strong and I'm not going one bit further. <laughs> I'm just gonna tinker back and forth between 200 and 201. You know who that one is? It's Karan. <laughs> I like my Facebook. I like my Facebook experience. It's real darn interesting. <laughs> and now Tim's mad at me for no reason at all. That's weird. Oh, it went down to 199. I'm, I'm going real down. I'm going downhill real damn fast. Well, that's like that's that's your Zeus experience carrying over. Like Timmy's billing you to be your Facebook friend. Or something. Don't you have to like pay for your friends on Zeus? Yeah, you do. Yeah. You <laughs> your Zeus experience is carrying on over into Twitter. It's real interesting. I've never seen anything that interesting in my life. And then it's then they get a hold of your Facebook and start and start posting on it. Wait, they come over to your, that's the only reason they come over to your house. So they can post on that Facebook account. Like, I never had anything better than MySpace until I got I like Facebook. My, I like masturbating with greasy foods. That's the part that... No, that's not the part that she got mad about. No, the one that she got mad about was three ch chicks in their, in their garb. Korean? And then one was called... Oh wait, I think uh, I finally saw that today. What did uh, it say like O M G? One of them said L O L or O M G or something. Yeah. Or one of them called the other a slut or something or yeah, she called her a slut because she could see her ankle or something. That was kinda of different though. I that's the one? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I you still don't think that's. I don't think that's the one. I bet it was one of those repostings of my email. Make fun of people of their religion and their beliefs. 
Yeah, I wasn't raised in that culture, so those kind of jokes don't really offend me because I wasn't, like, in the culture that, like, indoctrinated that um, belief. But now I'm kind of indoctrinating myself, so I should kind of try to model myself after the... Well... I have to see what's appropriate to get offended by. We'll see if it's a cultural thing or if it's really something that I should get offended by. I don't know if it is. Maybe it can. Oh, that's kind of like anything when they start trying to do something to... to um, Is there a way to get Americans in the same way? I don't think you can offend Americans. Yeah, you can. You just got to start talking about American values in the right way. You got to make fun of Boo Boo, little Boo Boo. Or whatever, what's her name? Well, I used to watch Layla Anwar before she blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> before she blocked me on Twitter. Layla Anwar. Um... Oh, she, I thought I was an anarchist, but she was like from Iraq. She, she missed, she was like one of the pro Saddam Hussein Iraqis. But her, her, I thought I was like an anarchist, but her anti Americanism, it was pretty true, but it, it like made me mad for about six months. And then finally I was like, hey, wait, I was programmed to get mad about those things. Everything she said was true. It was weird. I was like watching my own programming get mad at her when really it wasn't, she wasn't really saying anything that wasn't true about America. It was just, you're offending my nationality. <laughs> it was like, my nationality was programmed into me anyway. I, but doesn't know if it really was at any, isn't that indoctrination? If I'm like defending my country in a conversation, <laughs> that must mean I was brainwashed. I have no clue. Hey, you're brainwashed. I'm brainwashed. I don't have HBO or Cinemax and Showtime. My life is not worth living. Well, that's just an addiction. I don't know if that has to do with brainwashing. Let me think. What would be a good sign of brainwashing? Oh, uh, if you were like, uh, if you're defending a politician, you'd probably seem like you're brainwashed. If you're defending a politician. If you're like, don't say that about Barack Obama. He's done more for my family than ever. That's the sign of brainwashing. <laughs> Like, you don't hang out with a lot of socialists all day my mom's brainwashed my mom's been brainwashed hi I'm uh